Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park Authority is a peatland action partner and is restoring peatlands to help fight climate change. We're here at Glen Fallock Estate in the heart of Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park on a peatland restoration site. In some areas, the peatlands have been crisscrossed with drains called grips in an attempt to drain the peatland. Cutting grips through peatlands lowers the water table, drying out the carbon rich peat beneath the surface. This in turn leads to the erosion of peat particles into watercourses and intensifies carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases emissions into the atmosphere. Machine built peat dams are ideal in upland sites where there are hundreds of kilometres of grips crisscrossing the peatland landscape. A combination of wave damming and zipping, a technique ideally suited to relatively shallow and narrow grips, is a quick and effective restoration method. Working down the slope, the excavator straddles the grip. Using the bucket, the operator creates peat dams by pulling blocks of peat into the centre of the grip. The peat is compressed using the back of the bucket to create a strong watertight seal. To prevent water pressure building up along the length of the grip and washing the dams away, the distance between each wave dam is about 6 to 12 metres, depending on slope angle. Between the wave dams, the grips are infilled by pulling in blocks of peat from alternate sides of the grip in a zip-like fashion to slow the flow of water. Blocking peatland grips has many benefits to both people and nature. As with most peatland restoration, the overall aim of the grip blocking is to stabilise the peat and raise and maintain the water table as close as possible to the surface. The benefits of grip blocking are tackling climate change by reducing carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere, increasing biodiversity by creating wetter areas for both plants and animals such as sundews and dragonflies, improving water quality downstream by reducing erosion of the peat, encouraging the growth of active peat forming plant species, particularly the principal bog builder sphagnum moss by raising the water table. Zipping also prevents the channel becoming a trap for wildlife and livestock.